morning eighth graders so i wanted to have a zoom meeting today but that didn't work out um so i'm just going to go ahead and go over the assignment with you on a step-by-step -step video um so today what you're gonna need is for sure an eraser a pencil and some markers um, if you want to use um, paint you can if you want to use um, any other colored material that is totally fine um, please follow the directions and let's go ahead and go over the assignment. So first things first, um, you guys are supposed to read the All About Yayoi Kusama. That is the artist we are covering. Um, so just really quickly, she was born on, on March 22nd, 1929, and she is from Japan. Um, the period that she's working with is modern feminist pop art. Um, so Yayoi Kusama is pretty well known. Um, she is still alive. Um, she creates her artwork uh, as a form of, um, sub it, it's a form to help her cope with her uh, mental disabilities. Um, so she lives in a mental institution mental institution I can't talk today sorry she lives in a mental institution and across the street from the mental institution is where her, her studio is and that's where she does her creating that's where she works um, so she checks herself out she goes over there and she starts creating and then she goes right back over there um, so she's pretty incredible she knows how to manage her illness and she is doing a phenomenal job um, Okay, so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a drawing of a room in your house. Okay, so I'm trying to see if I should go over a little bit more of Yuyoi Kusama with you guys. Um, okay, so she's not only a painter, a drawler, she's a sculptor, she's a fashion designer. She's a performer and a musician, and she uses many mediums for her art. And the shape that she uses is circles and dots, and that's what she's mainly known for, is all her little dots and her circles and stuff. Okay, so what we're doing is we are going to create a room in our house okay so it could be a full-on room it could be like your bedroom it can be like your um i don't know your uh, family room it could be your kitchen it could be your backyard whatever you choose to do so i'm just going to draw a specific uh part of my room so i'm just going to draw like my tv stand that's just like what i'm going to focus on so I'm just starting to draw my TV stand. Looks something like this. I have a little one right there. So I'm just kind of sketching it out. Then I have um, like drawers in there. And then my TV's on top. So I'm just kind of creating a specific spot in my room. Just kind of sketching it out, nothing too serious. And then just put some details of the TV there. A candle here. Candle has a little tag on there, it's like a circle. Okay, so something like that. And then I have a, like a wreath here. So, that has a bunch of flowers on it. I'm just gonna just draw in a few flowers. Nothing too crazy.
I'm just drawing my wreath. Kind of looks like this. Kind of doesn't. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have like a light switch. Over here. I'm just going to put the little boxes. Okay, so that's pretty much a section in my room that I'm in right now. Okay, so now <clears throat> I have all my markers. And what you're doing is just adding dots all over it. So she had an installation um, and she had it. Okay, so she had an art room. Okay, it was like a gallery. And it was called the... Uh, obliteration room so this room it like traveled and this room had um it was just very white very blank and the viewers the visitors they got a pack of stickers and they were able to put stickers everywhere like anywhere they wanted so then this white room quickly became a room just full of colored stickers okay so that's kind of what we're doing we're just adding our own dots just everywhere and I am just going to use different colors <clears throat> and add dots just all over the place anywhere and the dot sizes were some are big some are small but they're all like relatively around the same size. And you don't have to color in your picture. It could just be white, uh, white with the pencil. And fill your paper up. Fill it all up with a bunch of circles. And she also had, pretty recently in LA, she had a, uh, like a light room. I forget what it was called now, but um, that was pretty recent. I mean, there's a lot of photos of that room going around social media and stuff. I had no idea that was what she did. I kind of wish now I would have checked it out. That would have been pretty neat. Maybe it'll come back. Usually those real popular ones, they come back. <clears throat> okay, so I am just using my whole, um, marker box colors there's 10 in here so i'm using 10 different colors Make sure they're dots, make sure they're circles.
Okay. Okay, I'm almost done. Just adding more dots and I'm kind of starting to do like smaller ones. Just like here and there. on my last color. I'm almost done here. Just wanted to add a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're done. So that's it. That's all you're doing. That's all. That's your last art assignment. That's it. We're done. I'm not going to cry. It's not going to happen. Not here. I'll wait till later. Um, okay, eighth grade. So hopefully I will see you guys next week um, via Zoom. I do have one more week with you, but no more assignments, but this is it. And then send me videos, please, of your um, surprise. You know what it is. Please look on Google Classroom, and we'll talk later. We're done. Adios.